Well, he wasn't expected to survive. Now nearly 20 years after he was pulled out of the bonfire collapse at Texas A&M, John Comstock's journey is memorialized in a new documentary. He was nicknamed 13th Man because Comstock survived against all odds. Director Charlie Min stopped by the KD studios today to discuss the film, and so did Janice Curley, who lost her son, Tim, in that collapse. A total of 12 people eventually died, and 27 others were injured after the bonfire fell on November 18, 1999. Min said it was a mishap that should have never happened. I was just shocked at how the university didn't supervise it better. This was completely student-run. Uh, but the one thing A&M cannot ever get around is that this happened on their campus. Him. Curly said her son Tim worried about other people that day despite his own injuries. Where he was on the stack, rather than, you know, saying, come get me, come get me, he said, I'm okay, help my buddies first, and he pointed out at least five other people. Tim Curley died the next day. The documentary 13th Man premieres in San Marcos at the Evo Starplex this Friday ahead of the anniversary.